Hello, uh, and welcome to the Deco Minimalist. My name is Carrie, and today uh, we're going, oh my god, I just can't. Anyway, um, hello, my name is Carrie uh, from the Deco Minimalist, and today we are going to be continuing with a video that I did a few weeks ago, um, or posted a few weeks ago, talking about uh, how to build a vintage capsule that you'll actually wear. So basically one of the steps that I didn't get to in that video was to uh, inventory your closet, having gone through the other steps, figure out what you already have and um, what, you, what gaps you may need to fill, what pieces that maybe are more modern can you use as like a transition uh, to help you ease into a vintage style wardrobe. <laughs> um, so basically I'm gonna be doing closet inventory and uh, creating some outfits. And uh, hopefully I will have some new inspiration and uh, th this way you guys can also see what I have in my closet and uh, I will also point out some of the items that I've made myself and yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, so let's get started. Okay, so this first outfit is a just a classic linen shirt with a pair of linen pants. Um, everything that I have that I haven't made myself, I'll link down below. And I have the basically the same outfit, just in long sleeves, a long sleeve version. And yeah, just very comfortable separates. Um, the pants are not like a vintage style, they're just high-waisted, wide leg were sort of my search, my key search terms. Um, but yeah, just a very classic outfit. This is probably, I wear some combination of this style probably the most often. And I also have uh, this outfit in a cornflower blue. And um, yeah, just to give a little bit of variety, but yeah, very comfortable, very easy, you know. And then here is a green print house dress that I made myself from a vintage uh, pattern. And this pattern was actually quite challenging to work with. And it's kind of a very, compared to the last few outfits, it's very sort of hyper feminine, but I don't mind that. Uh, we can go either way here. <laughs> and yeah, with this, it's very sort of 30s with this kind of ruffled collar. And it's really just to, meant to you know wear around the house and, uh, or I could wear it with my dandy Wellington tote or my cream or brown purse. I think I prefer it with this outfit with the cream shoes and cream bag, but you know, the brown is an option, I, I suppose. But yeah, just very easy, feminine. It's uh, a little big for me, but you know, I don't mind that. <laughs> and yeah, overall, uh, not a bad piece. I would probably make some changes to it, but it's fine. No big deal. And here we have a dress that Rebecca from Bespoke Vintage made for me. It's this in this beautiful uh, cotton sateen, and I think it looks really nice with this ivory vintage uh, leather purse. And I've, I'm wearing it with my uh, Remix vintage heels. And yeah, just a simple classic outfit, more you know for going into the office or for work in general. But I could also pair it with this uh, brown purse and brown oxford combination yeah kind of have nothing more to say about it <laughs> other than you know it's very comfortable uh yeah no uh, no complaints really this uh, is a dress that i made myself it's from a, i modified the pattern a little bit to be a higher neck it's it's in a, a black a cotton sateen and uh, it has this sort of ruched bodice and it fits me really really well i'm really glad because it was a, a big pain in the butt uh, to make, and then I had to alter it, and it's just the whole thing. So, but I really like how it looks with this cream purse, or again, the brown bag, and then brown uh, heels. You know, it's one of my favorite pieces, I think, that I've made, so that's always good, especially with the belts. It adds a nice, uh, it adds some nice dimension to it. And then we have one of my favorite dresses from the House of Foxy. This is the Stanwyck dress, more of a late 1930s, 1940s style. And yeah, I paired it this time with a black bag and my 
black uh, memory Oxfords, but I think I actually prefer it with a brown bag and shoe combination. But you know, this is again always an option. And yeah, it's a really pretty kind of crepey feel fabric and it feels very true to like a 1940s rayon, which is really nice. And yeah, I'm wearing it here with this vintage uh, satin purse. And then here again is basically the same dress in navy blue. And I really love how it looks with the warm brown uh, co uh, cognac leather. I think that's really nice. And I'm realizing now that <laughs> the slips that I have are a little too long for this style. So I think maybe I'll just wear it with the black slip and get on with my life. But yeah, that's, that's good for me to know for next time. <laughs> And then here is actually the first dress I ever made in a 30s style. I made it last year, and it's in this really beautiful uh, cotton sateen with this really soft hand, and it has this little bow in the back, and then a tie, uh, like the belt is attached and it ties in the back, and yeah, just really nice. And then here is a similar, the same style basically in a green fabric that I just finished making. Uh, I need to make some alterations to it, because you can see my slip strap is hanging out, but you know, it's a really pretty color, and yeah, it's a very nice, actually a very easy pattern, relatively speaking, uh, to work with, so that is good. So yeah, I definitely, uh, I will link that down below, and yeah, just a really pretty green color. Yeah, lastly we have uh, my summer uh, beach pajamas. These are from the House of Foxy. It's a new um, item by the House of Foxy. And yeah, I was planning to make something like this originally, but then, and it's really comfortable, and uh, yeah, I really feel like I should be uh, lounging by the pool or something. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found uh, this video to be useful, or at the very least, uh, semi-entertaining. And I hope it gave you some inspiration to go through your closet, and um, yeah, I just hope you enjoyed it, basically. And uh, feel free to like and subscribe. I will. I upload uh, videos every other week, and I have some great content coming up that I'm very excited about uh, in the next uh, few months. So with that, uh, I will see you guys in about a week and a half. All right. Thanks. Bye.